Hello, and this is Richard from Silent Peak. Today, I'm going to show you how to recover deleted photographs and files. Now, we're going to start this demonstration right here. Here's a number of photographs, and I am now going to accidentally delete them. And just like that, they are gone. And to make my mistake absolutely catastrophic, what I will do at this point is also format the drive and if we go back and take a look at that drive we can see that H drive lost photos is absolutely empty now in this case lost photos H drive is a USB drive but it really doesn't matter if it's any drive on your computer uh, whether indeed it's a mounted SD card or indeed if you're not looking for photos but missing word files music files anything at all that you deleted and really shouldn't have now the thing is, is that our files are actually still present and the reason we can't see them is because the index has been deleted. So to recover the photos, all we have to do is recover the index. Unfortunately, this is actually pretty simple. Uh, this application is called Recover and I'm very fond of Recover for three reasons. Uh, the first reason is, is it has bailed me out in the past when I have truly deleted files that I needed. It's also very simple to use, and best of all, it is absolutely free to download. So using Recover, the first option we have up here is our Drive dropdown, and I'm gonna to go to Lost Photos H Drive. You can, of course, scan the whole computer if you want to. Then I'm gonna hit Scan. Now, because I formatted the drive, I've made it especially difficult for Recover to find my files, so we're going to do a deep scan. This can take a very long time, but fortunately in this case, it'll be quite quick as the drive is quite small. So we can see here the percentage and the number of files that we've found. And here we go. This is what Recover has found. And by clicking on each an individual item, we get a preview of what this file is. And it is looking very promising. Now, obviously this test is a little bit synthetic. If you were to do this in real life, you're gonna find all kinds of files listed here, uh, not just the files you deleted by accident and wish to recover, but files that many months ago or even years ago that you deleted quite on purpose. So what you can do is you can selectively go through the files, click on the files you wish to recover, or alternatively, if you'd rather just recover the whole lot, we click this top button here and we move over to the bottom right and hit recover. It wants to know where we want to save the recovered files. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a brand new uh, folder. I'm just going to call it, uh, call it uh, recovered. Oops, pardon me. And now I'm going to click on that and click OK. It's recovering the files. And it says we have recovered 13 files, fully recovered 13, which means completely uh, intact and partially recovered is zero, in which case partly recovered files can be corrupt. And the whole thing took four and a half seconds. Now, right here, you do have an option to upgrade to Recover's premium package, the professional, uh, which is a little bit more elaborate and is worth considering if you find yourself still unable to retrieve the, your files with the free version. So I'm going to go and visit my newly created folder. There we go. We've got Recovered. And there we are. There's my photos. And they are absolutely 100% intact. Now, one of the things you need to be aware of, of such things, if you have found yourself uh, accidentally deleted your photographs or any other kind of file, do stop using your drive. Because even though the files are still there, because they have been de-indexed, because you deleted them, any new images or any new files you write to that disk will gradually overwrite the old deleted stuff, making recovery impossible. So once again, the moment you've realized your mistake, stop using your storage and make recovery a priority. 
Now, this is Richard from Sound Pig. I really hope that's helpful. If you uh, have any questions, please comment below. I'll also be writing this up on my blog at Silent Peak Photo. Uh, links and details in the description below. Uh, good luck with your recovery. I hope you get your images or files back. And uh, have a nice day. Thank you.